Quick review, 7.452 out of 10, I guess. Bad North, bad North. It's, it's more of an okay North, really. Don't get yourself down there so much, bud. This game could best be described as a tactical, realish time battle simulator. You control up to four groups of units whose job it is to defend their new godforsaken island through wave after wave of unsmiling, dark, evil invaders. Your units can be upgraded over time with just a handful of cash into one of three different types. The Archer provides some amount of long-range support, always a classic in warfare, highly recommended. A group of steadfast shield brethren who are able to withstand the enemy's barrage of arrows, and a group of pikemen which control a single route of access to some great amount of success. Tactically using your units in a wildly differing terrain is what makes this game, well, a game. Bad North likes to ask the player what it would be like to be a Viking, but in reverse, where you must defend your homeland instead of gallivanting off to assault someone else's. Yet, in a strange twist, you also hop from island to island, gaining gold as you leave them, finding new friends, and upgrading your units through uh, three different stages of life. The game features quite a fine-looking art style, flat shading with dull muted colors, leaning to just a touch towards the hand-drawn look. It really works well with the game, I think. Not too distracting, but giving enough detail to add the right amount of ambiance that island murder really requires from today's inquisitive and thoughtful user. Probably the best thing about this game is the game feel. It, it actually feels really fun to play and to watch your units fight and hold the land, striking and running and grouping up into small little compartments. Looks very smooth and really well done. The sound design also puts a nice ripe cherry tomato on top of our slightly leaning cake. Unfortunately, I find the game has a few issues that draw my attention away from it, like the dragging issue of it being very repetitive. The core game loop doesn't change much from defending island from bad guy. Hold pass. Rotate from one side to the other to provide the correct amount of overwhelming odds. If losing, fall back to choke point and hold out while healing. Although it must be said that if you do start losing, you will lose very quickly and with great casualties. I also wish that there was slightly more varied types of units that I could upgrade into. I think having the first few subclasses uh, as a simple upgrade is fine, but having branching different types of archers or pikemen might have been more fun. Customized playstyles is always good. Highly recommended that. Bad North is the kind of game that works well for a few hours of enjoyment. There is a bit of discovery that does keep the game interesting. Finding new items with unique powers or gaining new commanders that have special abilities does make it quite fun to explore the map and see what lays through the fog. But in the end, I would say that I'm very happy that I picked up Bad North for free. It's one of those games that if I'd bought on Steam, I probably would have refunded it. Uh, all that aside though, if you can get it for cheap, it might be worth a little bit of your time, especially on this long family weekend. If you have a game you'd like me to review or you have a like button that you want to press, please let me know and tell me in the comments. Bye.